Ever wondered how your brain controls impulses? The answer lies deep within a region you may never have heard of, the right inferior frontal gyrus. A groundbreaking study has been conducted, a collaboration between the University of Hong Kong and the University of Electronic Science and Technology of China. They've highlighted the right inferior frontal gyrus, or RIFG, as a key player in the brain's inhibitory control circuit. But what makes this region so special in our impulse control? Stick around to find out. Find. The magic happens through something called high connectivity within this inhibitory control circuit. This circuit, located within a crucial part of our brains, known as the right inferior frontal gyrus, or RIFG for short, is the main character in this groundbreaking study with the help of dynamic causal modeling and functional magnetic resonance imaging, a tool that can capture the brain at work. Researchers meticulously examined the brains of 250 participants. Their discovery? A high level of connectivity within this inhibitory control circuit. Imagine a bustling city with its intricate network of roads and highways. That's what it's like in our brains, with this circuit acting like a central hub, efficiently managing traffic. But the plot thickens. It turns out this connectivity is not a one-size-fits-all situation. It's influenced by factors like gender and performance. So does that mean males and females process information differently? Or that our performance in certain tasks affects how our brains function? Well, the answer is a resounding yes to both. But that's not all. There's more to this fascinating study. Did you know that your brain isn't exactly symmetrical when it comes to its processes? In an intriguing turn of events, researchers have unveiled fascinating insights into hemispheric asymmetry and gender-based differences in brain processes. This groundbreaking study reveals that the right inferior frontal gyrus, a crucial component of the brain's inhibitory control circuit, behaves differently based on gender and performance. These insights could be a game changer for the understanding and treatment of mental and neurological disorders characterized by response inhibition deficits. These revelations are reshaping our understanding of the human brain and its complex functions. So, what does all this mean for us? These discoveries could revolutionize treatments for disorders where response inhibition is impaired. To continuously be enlightened, like and subscribe.